what was it like to be yeah, this what was it like to be a student um, of Tolkien at Oxford? You know, his works have come out. I, I assume they're gaining popularity. People are reading them. And now he's also your lecturer in linguistics, in, you know, different kinds of subjects. Like, like, you know, you know, it's like almost like having, you know, a, uh, I don't know, a rock star being your lecturer, you know, in university. Well I'm not old enough to be able to speak to that question because right. I okay. <laughs> Tolkien died in 1973 and I didn't get okay. to Oxford until 1985. Okay. Um, I gather that he was, you know, there, there are mixed reports of his lecturing and I think it probably depended on um, uh, how expert you were in the languages he was lecturing about because his, unfortunately, his enunciation was flawed, especially once he got false teeth. Um, so he could often be an indistinct speaker, um, which is a pity because he was also a natural performer. Um, and uh, so th there's a story that when he was at school himself uh, and his hobby was learning this medieval Germanic language called Gothic, um, he spoke in Gothic in a debate that was meant to be conducted in Latin. Right, that's the kind of school he went to. Um, uh, and you can see there this, this urge to perform. There's this wonderful story that I heard from someone who did know Tolkien, a young fan of The Hobbit, who struck up a correspondence with Tolkien um, that was so strong that, that Tolkien came and visited the family uh, in Cambridge um, once. And this kid, his name, he became a historian, died last year, sadly, um, not the year before, Hugh Brogan. Um, this this Hugh uh, hid in the garden at first because he was so shy. Um, but when he was finally persuaded back into the house to join the family and talking to Tolkien, Tolkien performed his party trick. They had a wonderful staircase. He went to the top of the staircase and he fell down, arms and legs flying all over the place. And then he got up just like that. Ta-da. Tolkien was a performer at heart, you know, and that, and that I think is why his works are so thoroughly worked, um, why it's so hard to find chinks and flaws in their internal logic. You know.